Okay, I'm back for another episode of Behind the Wheel and just wanted to give a little video demonstration of the new FSD update, uh, was it 12.5.2.1? And I'm, I'm gonna show you how it works in a parking lot. So supposedly this update is, is supposed to be a big improvement on being able to um, navigate parking lots and, and those kind of things. So I was gonna try and demonstrate that. So I'm about to initiate full self-driving here and it will take me over to a grocery store parking lot. So let's get going. So it's a little slow to get started and it's trying to figure it out and it's trying to go that's probably the opposite way I would probably go and it ran into a problem here um, so I'm gonna have to interject here yeah I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this version of the software kind of having some some issues so let me get it straightened out again and we can now turn left onto kind of Street. kind of get get going again here now turn right so onto let's let's try it here so it's going to go the correct way it was like it couldn't figure out which way to go back there so this is a little bit of a parking lot type of situation so i'm not impressed at this point with the full self-driving i'm i'm in a model three and I'm not quite sure why it's it's very indecisive. The obvious path is to go right, so I'm not sure why it deviated to the left, because the grocery store is off to the right. Very simple intersection, and it should go right across the, the street feet, your destination and will be on the try and find a place to park. Um, so I just drove on the freeway, and it seemed to do a pretty good job on the on on the freeway. Oh, and if I didn't say this is a 2022 model 3 long range and so i've got about 21,000 miles on this car and now it's your destination is it, on the left okay it's on my left but i'm hoping that it will find a place to park but i'm not as confident that it is going to do that so i'm not quite sure what the upgrade really was around driving in a parking lot so we shall see i'm I'm trying to find out, so very indecisive in its decisions here, and it's just driving straight into, and it's going behind the grocery store, so I'm not quite sure why it's going behind the grocery store, and it says the autopilot navigation is complete. So we're kind of, you know, 500 feet, meandering around the, the store right now, and I'm not exactly sure why it didn't go to the front of the store and tr try and find a place to park. And I, I do kind of wonder if it's because of the detail on the, the maps. Because I look on the screen, it's not uh, very detailed in its understanding of its surroundings. And, but it does appear to have decent kind of view of the, of the actual, you know, kind of space around right the, 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 the grocery store. So it's going back out in the street again and trying to come out at the grocery store again here instead of, okay, let's see what it's going to do here. Kind of not very decisive. It doesn't quite know what to do here. So let's, oh, oh, oh. It got itself in a situation where a car was coming up next to it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here with it. Um, okay, we are we pull all the way around the, the yeah, building right. again. And to come back to the front of the, of the grocery store again. So it's going to turn back into the grocery store. And let's say if it... Let's see if it does something different this time. It's going to turn right. This is kind of where we just went. And let's see if it takes a different path this time. It doesn't seem to identify any parking spaces. Now your destination is on the left. So th th there's a car pulling out. 
and it didn't it, it kept going even though the car was there it's not looking for a place to park now I could be assuming that it was supposed to do that um, and it just isn't so it's kind of taking the same course it took before so I'm not seeing a big improvement in the parking lot um, navigation here as opposed to the last version the I, I believe it is the 12 dot uh, was it four um, dot six it's 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 going around the building again and was about to turn right into an oncoming car um, so I had to take over so I'm, I'm gonna have to back up here and get myself out of this mess but let me see I think I still have to initiate the parking process to find a, a, a place to park so what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go up here and see if I can find a in 500 feet a place to park will be on the left. so let's see here if it it'll try and find a place to park let's see okay we're going at it again here and so I was really lo looking forward to this update um, so it would hopefully find a place to park but I think I have to take it out of now your destination is on the left the full self-driving see and the parking spaces up here so this would be where I have to hit the park button so if you haven't used this software that's how it works you it'll identify but I have to take it out of the full self-driving mode and this kind of goes into the auto park um, capability and then you just press start up here and it'll pull forward and then it will navigate a a back in sequence here to, to actually park but it always backs in it doesn't ever go uh, forward in that I've seen so it seems to have done a done a nice job with that so that's complete so when it pulls out it has to it doesn't have to back up to pull out I guess is kind of why it, why it would do that so so anyway that's that's what I wanted to share with you today I appreciate you watching my my YouTube channel and watching my behind the wheel series and my name is Rob Greenley and thank you for spending some time with me in um, in this video and I hope you come back and watch all my other other videos I'm a podcaster and do a lot of videos on how to podcast but I've been a Tesla and electric uh, car owner for many many years so so uh, thank you so much and we'll have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.